What up, guys? Okay, port forward cabin. Here we go. Um, we're probably going to skip through this fairly quickly because you just seen it all exactly the same on the uh, starboard side. So we'll just do a bunch of time lapses. I'll chat to you here and there, but um, it's a mirror image of the other side, except for this area here, which is where the washing machine and stuff can go. We don't have one, but that's where it goes. Um, so that's going to be tricky, um, especially with our super thick bulkhead there now. So first thing we're going to do is put the floors in here and then same as the other side, I'm just going to check out the back of this, this wall here to accommodate for this beam that we put in. Um, it's just a little bit thicker than it was originally. So once that wall goes in, it's going to be bang, bang, shout, shout, door, door, closet, door, 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 <laughs> you're, door you're, you're just good. like that. <laughs> Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? Okay, so far so good. So we left all the slots in one side of all of these shelves so we can slot it back in. We've just screwed it in from the other side and all the uh, checked out parts are cut off on this side. So I'm not sure how easy or hard this will be but we can try slide this back into place now. Come on baby. Yeah. I get this cupboard back together. This is where the laundry, uh, the washing machine goes on a lot of boats. It was an absolute nightmare to get this out. We ended up just breaking this. It kind of looks worse than it is. It just means we have to um, run a little batten in the corner here. And support this end. We're just going to have to use a bunch of battens. Not ideal, but we're gonna make it work. Okay guys, that's all the cabinetry back together. 
We're just gonna put some ceiling panels back up and a little bit of trim. All of this has come back together quite nicely. And this as well. Everything's so much more square. Um, when the holes came up and the bulkheads cracked, these walls, this one on the other side, just bowed out like this. It was like that far out. So uh, now that we've glassed the frame back in place, all of this stuff just came back together nicely. It's like we were never here. I can hear you now, yes. Good. <laughs> so what we propose, what do we propose to the owners? Uh, is for, for those who want, uh, and I'm sure there will be uh, a lot, we propose to come uh, to uh, an official uh, lagoon dealer or uh, one of our service centers, and we have a lot around the world, uh -huh. for an official check. We will pay for this check. We take it into a, we going to be free of charge. Yeah. We do this check. And, uh, and then we will take care of every single case. Of course, it will depend from the history of the boat. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, if the boat had uh, nothing, and uh, even if it did some charter, whatever, but no, no, no Irma or whatever, whatever uh, we'll, uh, we'll take care. We, I mean, we will do the job. If the boat has made the, the three terms, uh, three hurricanes and uh, five groundings and everything, <laughs> uh, it will not be the same. Uh, we will not uh, pay for the repairs, but we will give assistance, of course, and uh, propose a dedicated procedure and uh, with a lagoon stamp and uh, yeah. Uh, Thomas, you've got you've given us nothing but uh, you've given us nothing but good news today. So I'm excited. I'll I'm, I'll be very excited to share this news with everybody on the. On the lagoon group and pass on your message directly from you yeah and uh, i know you guys are in a great mindset and they want to to help people so, yeah okay you have the same goal perfect okay? thomas thanks so much for calling i appreciate it thank you Colin. Thank okay you. all right touch. bye 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 Ciao. wow that was incredible uh I spoke to Thomas three weeks ago and he was in a position where he couldn't even say that this bulkhead had a weak point. And I get it because um, they had to do their own investigation. And I said to Thomas, well, if you're adamant that it's not a weak spot, then I guess we have nothing more to talk about until your opinion changes. And we kind of left it like that. Um, I, I didn't want to leave it like that, but it's the truth. If, if uh, Lagoon aren't going to even admit that there could be an issue, we had nothing to speak about. So in the meantime, there's three groups on Facebook, Lagoon Owners Group, Lagoon 450 Owners Group, and now a new bulkhead group, which, four, which has 450 members. The groups went insane. I was getting called every name under the sun. People were calling me a fraudster. People were calling me an insecure coward. They were saying that I'm hiding my documents. Um, it's true. Vincent Provost gave me a document to repair my boat. Since then, a lot of research has been done on this boat and I have over-engineered, with the help of the engineers, I have over-engineered my bulkhead. And although mine will never, ever, ever even bend a fraction of a millimeter um, it is overkill for what the average Lagoon 450 owner has to do plus my boat went through a hurricane so it's compromised so I'm extremely happy with how I've done it and I wouldn't have I, I wouldn't change much about how I've done this boat but I can't go giving that document to every mug and his pug out there and they start repairing it like this because it is a so much work it is super expensive and it's very, very diff difficult. So I withheld my documents, which were confidential, and I got some. I have never experienced anything like this in my entire life. So what happened, I'll just wait for this truck. So what happened was people started freaking out about the resale value of their Lagoon 450. And it's true, this boat is now has this big dark cloud over it um in my opinion any boat that hasn't been reinforced 
will drop in value. Any boat that has been reinforced, like this one, will keep its value. Maybe even go up in value, I don't know. The, the, the Goon 450 is the most successful charter boat in the world. There's a thousand of these boats sailing around the world and that's for a good reason. They're incredible boats. Doesn't look like it right now, but they are an amazing, amazing boat. And I've never said that this is a shit boat. I've always said it's just this one issue that has just put this cloud over, over the boat. Um, but fuck, I've, got, I've had my family message, my family joined these groups and they've been messaging me saying, holy shit, are you okay? Like, don't let them get to you, da da da. Um, the crew have just been amazing as well. Like it's been, it's been absolutely demoralizing what I've just been through. Um, of course I had a huge amount of support as well. It wasn't all bad. The, there were more positive comments than bad comments, but they're a select group of guys. Fuck, it's just, I don't know. It's been real tough guys, but this phone call just makes everything so worth it we just wanted to help people we just wanted people to be aware that there is this possible weak point on the boat and not to cross the Pacific Ocean like we were about to that was my mission and I've gone on this mission on all these lagoon groups and tried to spread the word without calling uh, anybody names without saying lagoons a bad company without saying anything like that it's trying to be as constructive as I could telling people to check their bulkheads and unfortunately the only way to check the bulkhead is to remove the trim which is glued on so people think it's destroying their boat to check this freaking bulkhead um, you can you can feel the tension I'm sure in the air right now because I get so worked up thinking about it and talking about it but I'm gonna go on the lagoon group now and I Thomas has asked me to be the bearer of good news and let people know that it's gonna be okay and that they should go to their dealers the goon will inspect the bulkhead they will do an investigation of the history of the boat they know where every single spare part has come from and where it's going to because when you buy parts from lagoon you have to give your hull number I've done it many times so if you went out and bought a rudder you've had your boats been compromised if you uh, went out and went to one of the service providers and got 20 kilograms of polyester resin your boat's been compromised somewhere, so that's what they're gonna look into. But if your boat has had normal use, which includes charter use, um, Lagoon said they will cover the costs. This is incredible, incredible news. Woo! It had been a grueling six weeks of some of the hardest work we'd ever done in our lives. Taking a quick breather. We ended up using around 70 liters of epoxy resin and 100 meters of fiberglass to get the job done. Not including labor, it had cost me around $10,000 in materials and yard bills, but the stressful nature of the work had knocked years off my life as we tried to figure out how to straighten and strengthen a 45-foot catamaran. It was a huge accomplishment, and we were excited about the idea of taking her for a sea trip. The cabin's back together, baby! But because we had gluttons for punishment, we decided that we would move straight on to the next project, which was to do a sugar scoop extension. So watch this space. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow the journey of Palais Revival. Alright guys, so here's the deal, um, what someone says and what someone actually does can sometimes be two different things, so I'm going to keep a very close eye on the situation with Lagoon and uh, see if they actually follow through with what they say that they're going to do. I just hope that they don't try to cut any corners or anything with this repair procedure, um, because I know if they people do it the way we did it, it's, it would be around $50,000 in labour and parts. I just want to see what Lagoon 
um, the procedure that they prescribe to people. And so I'll let you guys know and I'll do a follow-up episode on, on uh, how everyone is getting along. Obviously you know that I'm, I can't get anything out of this because of the extent of the damage from the hurricane um, on this boat, but um, I've got enough friends, the Lagoon 450s and, and random pe people contacting me as well to uh, have a pretty good understanding of what's going on. I hope to, to keep putting a little bit of pressure on Lagoon to do the right thing here. So I'll keep you guys posted. I hope you've enjoyed the series. Hope you've had a lot more fun watching it than we had doing it. Um, but yeah, let's get on to the Sugar Scoop extension. You!